Okay, we're at the store with Exeter. We're gonna buy some armor for our rope. <laughs> we're probably gonna go with the finesse armor, I'm gonna say. That's you know, a little bit of steeply priced. I suppose it's worth it. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. And we're gonna get rid of the shadow's eye. Oh, we have this whole conversation to do again. Oh, the only reason I'm not being attacked, by the way, is I removed my shield from Red Prince so that he didn't have it in his inventory when we were talking to him. Alright, so we bought armor legit. Which is fairly significantly better than hers. But now I have this armor. Anyone have have any finesse? We should probably sell her old armor then. We'll do that in a bit. We're gonna go down here and talk to... Not you. Not Duggan. Actually, we don't. We haven't talked to Duggan yet. The dwarf stands by a young woman. He seems intensely focused on her, whispering and singing softly in her ear. She's staring blankly into space. Blood and bone. Fire and smoke. Death and... and worse. Hush now, Leia. They'll not hurt you again. You're safe now. Once Garlic gets back, we're going home. You'll see. He'll be fine. Sure, sure. The woman rubs her neck, raking her nails across her skin as she whimpers. What are you doing to your neck? The dwarf starts at the sound of your voice, gripping the woman's arm for a moment before he relaxes. New faces. Hope you aren't bushwhacked by the Magisters too. We did the bushwhacking. As for her neck, she's remembering the damnable source collar she once wore. Lucky for us, she had the skills to remove them. There's many a sorcerer that's been freed thanks to her. I'm gonna smile at her and say they're very lucky to have such a talented sorcerer with them. The dwarf smiles, his eyes filling with warmth as he looks at Leia. Aye, we are at that. He strokes her hair as Leia leans her forehead against his shoulder, muttering quietly about Gareth. Why is Gareth so important to Leia? We were part of the caravan headed to Fort Joy. Shiny collars and all. Gareth and the Seekers ambushed the caravan and freed us. Saved every one of us from that hell. But now he's off searching for weapons to take down them Shriekers. And all we can do is sit here, thinking about the Godwoken we didn't save. I've heard that term before. What do you mean by Godwoken? From fragments to whole. From their past to our future. From their hope to ours. Okay. She ain't detailed. But she ain't wrong. The Godwoken are our hope that a new divine can be born. Someone to replace Lucian and push back the Voidwoken. Someone to restore order and protect the source. I'd speak to Exter if you want to know more. How would you recognize the Godwoken? There's ways, but I ain't privy to them. One thing I do know, mind. The Voidwoken have their number. They react to Godwoken like no one else. Barking dogs and wolves' clothing. I've seen enough void walking for one lifetime. Teeth in the sea. Teeth in the swamp. Teeth in the air. Aye, there's enough of them about. But don't you worry none. Gareth will be back soon. Then we'll be home in two shakes of a lamb's tail. I take my leave. I'm going to try to talk to Leia and see if I can get my collar off. Duggan stands over Leia. There, there, lass. No, I want you to... Do it. hang on. Fane has a collar. The dwarf stands by a young woman. Blood and oh. Hush now, once again. The woman rubs her neck. The dwarf's new face as for her lucky for The woman's choke us. They strangle us. Steal our voices. It's very uncomfortable. Could you take it off, please? She averts her eyes, staring at the ground. You'll have more luck getting Dallas to unlock them. The poor girl's not in her best mind without Gareth. Uh, can you help me get the collar off? Sorry, friend. I'm as powerless here as you are. I've not got her power. Best Garrus, the only one that brings her out of herself. Without him, she's... well. Duggan lays his hand on her shoulder. Duggan gives you a look... Who's Dallas? Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Was she back at Fort Joy?
You can always come back here. It's not that far away from no checkpoint, is it? There is a checkpoint here. Why don't we have it? Oh, I think we have to click on this first. Amidst the placid little pond, the face of a goddess lies half submerged in the water. Rivulets stream from her deep set eyes like endless cascades of sunlit tears. You feel peaceful in her presence, soothed somehow by an intangible comfort. I will save her the moment and take my time to look over the statue. As you gaze upon her loving face, you find yourself drawn into a trance like state. A voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars. Its whispers caress you like a breeze. I will listen intently. Expose yourself to this unearthly voice. The voice grows stronger, like the breeze picking up. What were whispers become words. My children. My children. Gone are my children. Dead are they in the cradle I have wrought. I'm going to close my eyes, offer her nothing but the sharpness of silence. Despite your reluctance to answer her, you can feel her presence gently goading you more closely toward her. My child, my child, weep with me for the mother who has lost. Weep with me and bathe in the tears of Amadia. I'm going to keep my own sorrows quiet, but I will let her grief overcome us and weep for her children. Your tears mingle with those of the goddess down in the tranquil crystalline pond. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond now shines with an inner light, and standing in its waters, you feel rejuvenated, pure, as if born anew. More junk. And see them safe in your grace. What a nice, cool thing. It's just like, heals us up. Now, does it heal Fane, or does it kill Fane? It is rocking Fane. He is dying because of it. Sorry, Fane. We will get you all healed up in your own poison mess. There you go. There you go, champ. We won't make you go through the healing stream anymore. Sorry. Okay, we need to go back to Fort Joy Square. I think Dallas is her, right? No, it's Nabora. That being said, Nabora does remove collars too. Where is the Red Prince? He wasn't part of our group. Where are you? Oh, he's there. Okay. Come join us. Oh, there's two unhappy magisters there that I haven't killed yet. Okay. Uh, Fane, you're in charge of this conversation. Oh, you are the face ripper. She might not talk to you. Let's try with somebody... Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts. we've already heard this before. You make it. I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Can we take some of your wares for testing before we decide if they're worth the gold? Nothing of mine needs testing. Sure, I'll take Pay a look what you got. Just don't waste any more of my time. Hmm. Supercharger. Oh. Cool. Elemental Totem. That's a great summoning ability. We're going to switch to summoning, by the way, with our... Um, with our... Necromancer. Or our Fane, I guess. I'm dead. Can I reach you? No. Didn't get knocked down, but that's okay. That might hurt. Ooh. 
That sounds like it'll do something that'll get us in trouble for blowing up the city. Not that we're already not in trouble. Now that I consider it. Blinded. You blinded my rogue? That's just a dick move. Alright, um... Well, let's see what we can do anyways. Oh man, we actually have to move into melee to do this. Alright, well we're not going to do as much as I want. And we may miss every attack. That was an unfortunate round for us. Now what's the damage on our uh, shield as opposed to before? Like before it was like 12 or something like that. Now it is significantly higher. I think I'm gonna get him to start beating on this person. Almost threw his armor. That axe is great. I should put poison on it. Which means we need to find an oil cage. Oh, you're blind too, you can't see anything. Can I shoot in a red? You know what? Fine. I know they have magic armor, but there's not a whole lot I can do other than that. Would you describe yourself as unblind? Yeah, it looks like you're okay now. <laughs> Knock that guy down. Come hit him once in the face. Everyone's knocked down, so that helped out a lot. The guy has tons of magical armor, but luckily we don't need to do worry about that. Good job, Fane. I knew your sucker punch would come in great handy. All right, a couple of new Magister corpses to deal with. A lot of arrows that you didn't get to use. All right, who's Dallas? Dominic, Los, Gowan, Rezik, Myra. Nothing down there. Unless we already killed a Dallas. I don't remember meeting one though. Oh, is she the healer down here? No, that didn't make sense. Because there was a healer here at one point. Wouldn't hurt to quickly check it out, I guess, but I don't think she's there. Griff, Needle, Griff, Noosey. You're Dr. Lester. You know, I'm just gonna heal that dude. The man sleeps so deeply. Frightfully busy at the moment. Where are you? Do you have anything I can steal? Bull horns. Oh, these are all polymorph stuff. We'll deal with polymorph later on. We will be robbing this whole place before we leave, but not yet. I guess Dallas is a wall. I haven't seen her around.
Yeah. Oh, there's a treasure up there. We should probably go to the bridge and go up to see the treasure. <coughs> Excuse me. My apologies. A little bit of a cough still. Now, where am I going for this treasure? We killed that woman. That's the dock. There's a treasure chest here. A hidden treasure chest, you say? I accept this proposal. We're probably powerful enough to go take down that big group now, finally. We have some decent gear. I've spotted something. Have you? I need to dig here. That's a good thing we have a digger. What do we get? Small frost ruin? Nice. Iguana necklace? Yeah. Crafting Bible part three. Nice. We're gonna get a whole bunch of things. That's Fane's notebook. Learn some recipes from that. But the Red Prince is the one that picked these things up. So where's he? Crafting Bible. We got 15 new recipes from that. That's a lot of recipes. And we probably got a ton from this one as well. 30 from that one. Damn. Where'd my backpack go? Good. That is the correct backpack full of books. That we'll go through more later. We're in sandals. Who doesn't wear them? There were three whole armor. That gives no armor. And neither do the garlics. We'll eat these heads shortly. Oops. Wrong button. My apologies. Let's continue on. We have more cove to go. There are some areas that are off limits for- oh, I know this place. So there's a very cool electrified steam trap up there. Luckily no one needs to go up there really. Well there is a reason to go up there and we will send one person up, but we can grab these bodies. Bring them down here. There's an unidentified belt, some gold, small flame ruin, knockdown arrow. Fane, you're gonna have to do the thing on the belt. It's warfare. What am I using? That was just straight up better. Um, belt. No. You identify this. It is the thread. Plus two to single handed. Plus 11 HP. Plus 7% to dodging. Congratulations on your brand new belt, Red Prince. It'll replace the no belts that you had before. Good. We're getting a little bit more gear. And you need to teleport the other dead body down. Ain't no need to go up there and get hurt by lighting. Tracks of the Tyrant is another piece of or is a piece of the Brachus Rex set. Um one piece we need fifteen uh, wits to get. And I know where one other piece is, I know where the chest is. But I don't know where the other ones are yet, so play that one by ear. I'm going to try and find them all on this island, though. I know they're all on this island. You know what? It's just easier to send someone up at this point. Who's got the most magic armor? 41, 36, 18, 37. Congratulations on your jump up there. And we get experience for exploring it, so might as well. Nothing. Spoon. Anything else? I don't see anything else. And there we go. Jump off the tower to safety. Uh, so if you put the boots of Brachus Rex on without having the full set, it is cursed. And you will not be able to move. It negates 100% movement. That's a rather large boat. So if we decide to just jump into our time machine and go back to Amadia's Sanctuary, 
are other ways we should. Oh, we gotta get out of there before Fane starts dying. Wish Sorry, Fane. Now don't you cry. Echoes of death. The birds are asleep. We're gonna head down here and straight into yet another fight. The life of a god woken is not one to be taken lightly, it is one of punching faces often. As you can see, there is a void salamander pet and a dead seeker. These lizards are not our friends in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to try to get Fane up here somewhere. There's a mag dead magister priest. That's good enough. Not what I meant to press. You should have some decent line of sight from up here. You go there. You stay sort of backish, and you're our tank. I am your love of death. Come embrace your cousin. Come repay your debts. Come and face the end. Pass. There are four lizards here. Or Possibly three. No, that one's definitely dead. That was a shit ton of poison damage. I'm actually kind of impressed. Oh, you are just not in range. Delay. He'll come to us. Or he'll come straight to Sibyl, who's gonna just unload on him. Can't stop knockdowns if your armor is completely obliterated. So let's do that. attack and adrenaline and two more attacks oh yeah this one's a lesser one or is it no it's about the same but it looks weaker because it's small might not actually be smaller Fane is in this fight right okay good um we'll wait for them to come together a little bit more before we use our uh Shield bash ability. We will, however, knock him down. And then smack him. I don't want this guy anywhere near the fight. Wow, do I have very limited choices of where I want to throw him? Maybe I could put him in in the fight and just use him. Then I can whirlwind and stuff. Yeah, okay. I got one of them. You need to get knocked down, but I don't think I can do it this turn. Never mind, I can totally do it. Nope, because I'm out of AP. Well, let's just encourage everybody. That was silly of you. That was a wicked critical hit. I would come kill you, but I need to kill this guy first. When you have a chance to kill a monster, always, always kill the monster. I need to get better positioning for Fane. How's that? That's much better. He's slowed and hurting, so he's not going to do a whole lot this turn. <coughs> Though to be fair, neither is she. I think these guys are close enough for my shield attack. No, they were not. That sucks. Um. Really, it didn't die.
Damn, you're poison. You can hit two. I kind of want to hit... Actually, you know what? I do kind of want to hit both of these guys. Except I missed that one. That's fine. Let's knock it down. And we got that one shocked. Use our wand. That kind of hurt a little. Are you going to die moving here is the question. No. But you're also not in backstab position. There we go. Let's save her life. I definitely don't want her to die. There, sit down. That's fine. Red Prince is okay. She is the one I didn't want to get hit. So, that worked out pretty well. Oh, I'm in the worst position for this fight. I go down this ledge. Oh, he's got Necrofire on him. Wait, does that mean she has Necrofire on her? For one turn. It does. If I backstab, where am I going to end up? No, we're good. She kind of needs to get away. But he will definitely get an attack of opportunity if we try to move. So we do what we can. No healing potions, no healing potions. If I can keep him knocked down, we'll be perfectly safe. Someone. That one's dead. Perfect. I have teleportation. Will that kill her though? She's got 50 health. Could just make the situation worse in there, I guess. I don't know how to do it without killing you. Fire in the healing stuff. What is that? I'm gonna grab that too. The only person that should not be in the fire is you and the healing stuff. It's water. Just go stand it. There we go. All right. So other than the amulet, what else do we pick up? Nothing. Nothing. And not a whole lot. So what's the newest amulet that we've picked up? Plus one finesse, plus 15 fire resistance, and plus one ranged. Damn. It would be super good if we had an archer. But we don't. We have no such thing. What's up there? Is 
There's a squirrel named Squirrel. I need to dig here. You do? Okay. And by that you mean the Red Prince, right? Because it's his job. What was that? Something flopped up. But... Oh, second skin okay, gloves. Fine. And what are they? Plus one finesse, plus ten poison resistance, plus one huntsman. I mean, those are going straight to Seville because she's the only one with finesse. And they're kind of better than hers. Yep. And what's the dead seeker got on him? Nothing. Dead voidling? Nothing. Dead Magister Priest on the high road there. Nothing. Well, there's a cave over here. A mysterious cave. What strange witch. But that's where we're going to leave off. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.